Hello, Falcons family. Today, I bring to you a debate that has been happening among fans and the sports media. The Atlanta Falcons' fantastic offseason is being overshadowed by a senseless quarterback discussion. But before we dive into that, make sure to hit that like button on this video and don't forget to share your opinion. The story of the Atlanta Falcons' offseason both among many Atlanta fans and the majority of sports media has been the quarterback debate. Why the Atlanta Falcons aren't drafting a quarterback or failing to land a player who was never leaving Baltimore and Lamar Jackson were the favorites of the offseason. Fans seem to be split either convinced Ritter is the franchise quarterback or the future or that the second-year player is a waste of time clearly not a starter in this league. The rational breakdown of Ritter's game and why Atlanta is moving forward with Desmond is often ignored in favor of reaching for the easy debate. What is being missed in this discussion by so many is in truth predicting what quarterbacks will be is an inexact science one that is evidenced by missed picks and first-round busts. While we can debate whether or not Ritter has the talent to succeed at this level it comes down to execution and decision making two things that cannot be predicted or decided by off-season debate. There is also the truth of the perception of Ritter that many will have based on the fact the quarterback is a third-round pick. Atlanta selects the same player two rounds earlier and there is no question who Atlanta is moving forward with this season. Giving Desmond Ritter one season to prove whether or not he is the starter on a rookie deal with a capable backup is a savvy move by the front office no matter which direction it goes. Which of this year's top prospects or free agents did Atlanta realistically have a shot at landing? Overpaying an average veteran quarterback as the Raiders or Saints did was the Falcons' only path to adding to the position. A path that would have changed the offseason and their ability to build a complete roster. Spending top dollar on a quarterback that has been unable to win a playoff game in nearly a decade in the league was one of the top offseason moves at the position. This speaks to why Atlanta chose the path they did and why it was the right move no matter how the 2023 season may play out. Personally, I believe in Ritter's potential and I think the Falcons made a wise decision to trust in him. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Go Falcons!